So here are five Nintendo Switch games that I think are going to be really good investments for the future, meaning like they're probably going to go up in value as the years go on. Also, really quick, I'm doing a giveaway at 12,000 subscribers for a $20 Nintendo eShop gift card. All I have to do to enter the giveaway is subscribe to the channel, like this video, and comment down below, and stay tuned for future videos. So the first game on this list, I actually had no idea existed. I don't know how I missed the announcement or release of this. This game came out in 2023, and it is the Star Wars Heritage Pack. The crazy thing about this game is that it comes with seven Star Wars games, like seven of the classic games. You got Star Wars Jedi Knight 2, Jedi Outcast, you got Jedi Knight Jedi Academy, you got Episode 1 Racer, Republic Commando, The Force Unleashed, which is a great game, and the sequel is pretty good, but you don't get the sequel on this, unfortunately. You get Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, and then Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. So, if you ever played any of the classic Star Wars games and you just want to replay them or just have access to all of them on one cartridge, this is perfect. And I could definitely see this in a couple of years going way up in value. I don't know if I'm the only one that missed this announcement. I don't know how I never heard about this. I think it's crazy that this is even on the Switch. Now, granted, this, the Switch graphics aren't the best, but luckily these games are all older games that ran on like, you know, the Xbox and PS2 and stuff like that. Right now, you can still buy this brand new for about $80. You could probably get one a little cheaper if it's pre-owned, but I can for sure see something like this in 5-10 years being worth significantly more just because a combination of seven of the classic Star Wars games that a lot of people still really enjoy today. The only one I have played on this list is Force Unleashed. And I've played the Force Unleashed 1 and 2, and they're, they're really good games. This is such a crazy switch game that I, I think everyone needs to check out next up we got human fall flat so this game you could still find pretty easily it's not super duper rare by any means but since it is on the switch i could definitely see it going up in value over time so this is kind of just like one of those fun just physics puzzle games where you just play as like a customizable little blob guy and you grab objects, climb up things, and you use, you know, his arms, and it's it's like a pretty mindless, just chill game. And this game has been out for a long time. It's on like every single platform. I think it came out in 2016, so it's almost a 10 year old game. But just because it's on the Switch and it's kind of like a not so popular game towards like a household name, but it's a popular game as in like a lot of people know about it. They've sold over 50 million copies in general, like uh, on all of the platforms. But on this being on the Switch, I could just see this going up in price. It's still relatively cheap. I looked online and it seems like you can get a used copy for like 15 to 20 ish dollars. If you want a sealed one, obviously a sealed copy is more than that. That's for a pre-owned. But just because it's on the Switch makes me think it's going to go up in value over time. Alright, so this next game actually has not been released yet, but it was just announced, and I think it's amazing. I'm 100% buying this game. When it comes out, it'll be on the Switch, PS4, and Steam. So if you also want to buy it for the PS4 and Steam, you could do that. But with Steam, you don't own it. It's a digital copy. And with PS4, you know, I'm actually kind of surprised it's on PS4. I don't... They don't... They haven't stated this is coming out on the PS5, so... I would imagine this is coming on the PS5 too, but the official website only has PS4, so I don't know, maybe they just don't care about the PS5, or maybe they meant to put PS5, but anyways, on the Switch, it's going to be on the Switch, and this is Marvel vs. Capcom Fighting Collection Arcade Classics, so you will have six games, maybe seven actually, I think you might get seven games on this. So you get X-Men Children of the Atom, Marvel Super Heroes, X-Men vs. Street Fighter, Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter, Marvel vs. Capcom, Clash of Super Heroes, and then Marvel and Capcom 2, and it looks like you also get the Punisher game. This looks absolutely crazy. If you've never played the Marvel vs. Capcom games or any of these fighting games, they're a must-play. In my opinion, the Marvel and Capcom games are just so fun. I have a blast anytime I've I've had a blast anytime I've ever played any of these games, and you get access to ones, and you also get access to other games, like I've never played X-Men vs. Street Fighter, Marvel Super Heroes, or X-Men Children of the Atom. Like, I, I think this is definitely a game I'm gonna pick up, and this one comes out, I think, at the end of December of this year, so this is a long ways away. Looks like you'll be able to buy this for $50 brand new when it's released, but this being a game on the Nintendo Switch at the end of the Switch's lifespan, as well as just like an absolutely crazy collection of amazing games, 
makes me feel like this is going to go way up in value. And I feel like it's going to be sold out, so I probably should pre-order a copy. Because this probably will sell out just because of how crazy this is. But I definitely think that you guys should get this if you're at all interested in any of these games or if you have played any of these games. I think this is incredible. Next up on the list, I got Xenoblade Chronicles 2. So now this one is pretty popular, but it's always been so desired. Like this, this game is sold out frequently, I guess you could say. It's just such an incredible game. The storyline's awesome. The animations are really cool. It's so creative. If you're into like any type of JRPG game and you haven't played this one, I highly recommend it. I just think it's super cool. And you can also get this special edition, which currently sells for like, I think anywhere from 150 to 250 ish, I guess, depending on, you know, the condition of it, that might be a better investment for, you know, getting more money if you want to sell it out in the future. Or if you just want to buy it now, before it's like, even more money. But I could definitely see Xenoblade Chronicles 2, just the regular, standard edition, whatever, going up in value after the Switch's lifespan, just a couple years after, because there's gonna be a day where the Nintendo Switch games are not being produced anymore, which means a lot of these games are gonna shoot up in value. Now, the Switch Online service is probably gonna last a long time like i don't see the eShop for the switch shutting down for another what 10 15 maybe even 20 years given how popular the switch is and how many people are probably going to still be using the switch in 20 years but basically you just kind of explore this world as much of titans that you have to battle and it's just such a cool diverse map so much exploration i think this is a great game and i feel like so many people would like this game and i feel like so many people do like this game and so many people will like this game if they never have Last on this list, we got a limited run game, and this one is called Astro Aqua Kitty Possum Collection. I just think this art style is so cool. Limited run games are really unique, in my opinion. They're really interesting. The, the company does get a lot of hate, and, you know, I'm going to stay away from that. I'm just going to, you know, talk about their games. In my opinion, this game just looks so good. The, the cover art also looks great. But this game is kind of styled after, like, you know, the classic video game, like the classic NES game where it, you where it's like a side-scrolling style adventure, and you have different characters, you shoot out of a, like a submarine plane thingy. And it's just, it's these type of like quirky games, in my opinion, that makes gaming extremely fun. And it's just so cool to see how different people's minds work, how different companies make different creative and unique experiences for people to play. And limited run games also do have a pretty good history of going up in value over time which means you could either buy it now before it's way too expensive if you want to play it, or you could buy it and play it, hold on to it, and get some money back in the future, which is great. I know a lot of people get mad about reselling, but it's all fair game, you know what I'm saying? These games, anyone could buy if you want to, of course, and then if you want to sell it, that's your right. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Let me know what your favorite game on this list is. There are a lot of great games on here, and I, I'm so excited for the Marvel Capcom collection on the Switch. I think that game is going to be so fun, and I'm definitely going to get a ton of playtime out of that one. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next one.